Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, back again with some more Minecraft Redstone. Today we are on MC at a gallery.info and I'm using a different microphone. We're going to see how well it turns out. Hopefully good enough, because it's a bit more convenient for some stuff. Not on my la main laptop, because it doesn't... Uh, Fraps doesn't like uh, USB microphones and uh, Windows XP apparently, but yeah. So here we have uh, just a memory cell I was playing around with. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, Pretty much a D latch, latch here. Uh, that's your latch. That's your clock input. You take your input on here, and it lo lo latches itself to whenever the clock is placed. This one also has a read, read enabled, but you can do a mux or somewhere else if you want your memory a bit smaller. Get, get that out of the way, or well, not really smaller. Just move it out of the way. But you can see, you can just change this. And when we latch it again, now those two are latched, and that is our output. So the basics of this R is that we have a little, we have our RS NOR device here, which also acts as our D flip flop, just because of the input. So you can set, the set, you can only set when the reset line is down. So it la so it acts as a D latch. So here's our cell here. It can exist in two states. It can let's power it from over here. You can power it, and it'll stay in that state. Or to depower it, you have to break the connection, and there. So that is our reset button. So if we didn't have this here, we could just have a uh, spill the little our snore latch out of one. Just a quick little video on these things. I love these things. They're not the smallest though. Uh, you can do them much smaller with pistons. So we have our. I'll just build it the same way I have them over there. So our, there's our set input, or reset input, and here's our set. So that is now an RS NOR latch. Uh, it's very fast. The slowest part in this one is the piston, but pistons are only one, one and a half uh, redstone ticks, so they're not too bad. So this is a fairly fast memory cell. Just eight byte, just a byte here, eight bits. Nothing special. Another concept I was playing around with was using glass and a uh, horizontal one. Only problem with that, you can't get a full eight, eight bits in there just because of the limitations of pistons. They can't push that far, unfortunately. Just a bit short, but eh, works for a nibble here. Same concept, just just with a different way of uh, pulsing it. Instead of pushing pistons down, you just push push uh, blocks sideways. As you can see, latched into the new state. Um, so yeah, that's just this simple design. Uh, the way I saw this thing, including this, was from a where is it? What is it? It'll be a shift register, shift register design I saw on the Minecraft forums. I really having trouble remembering the person's name, and I uh, yeah, here it is. It sort of yeah. So this is a shift register design, not mine. I found that this was on the forums. But what I took from it was this little, the inner part here. I, n I never thought, really thought about this co this part before. Doing a concept of just using a repeat, repeater powering itself, itself as a latch, and then using uh, pistons to break the connections. It actually works very nicely. I won't go into the shift register. If you want to do that, you can search on the Minecraft forums for uh, very co uh, most compact bi-directional shift register. This one can shift both directions, and it's very very fast so if I had a chance if I were going to I could redo, I'd redo my Simon game using that type of shift register instead of this old style, style uh, repeaters and torches because it's a little slow and when I'm using it for these counters I have I had so much timing issues with it just because it's a very slow uh, counter but Simon could play a lot would be a lot better if I swapped it to that design but uh, that's been my quick little update uh, See you all later.